morning and welcome back to uh, southwest France. Uh, it's about 8.30 Sunday morning. Didn't sleep particularly well last night. Loads of things whizzing through my mind. Um, yeah, got a, a few bits and pieces on my mind today to uh, get done in the house. So, um, yeah, do you remember do you remember last year I uh, I was trying to make the um, half, well, half of the house, the living room and the bedroom, uh, hoping to make it draft free. And uh, I did succeed, but I did two jobs that were absolutely, absolutely hideous. And uh, yeah, I vowed never to do it again, really. And uh, well, so I'm gonna do that again today. Uh, I'm gonna make a start on the kitchen side of the house and the other bedroom. Uh, and I'm gonna have to try and make that draft free. So that's something I'm gonna need to start working on. So I'll show you what I'm doing. So I don't really know why the house is like it. Um, it's been built for a very, very long time. It's 165 years old. Um, but what you saw me doing um, at the beginning was putting in a, a wooden strip around uh, the edge of the, this in the living room. And I also did it um, in, the, in the bedroom. And I also put up small strips in between, hopefully you're gonna see it, the, the uh, camera's struggling with the light. Um, yes, just small strips in between the beams, just to uh, hide that little gap that seems to exist around the perimeter of the walls. Yeah, bit of a bit of a nuisance and um, fiddly, faffy job, messy job, because um, there's like a hundred years of dust up there. And so, yeah, I'm starting in the kitchen now. I'm trying to uh, get the kitchen as. Um, draft free as I can, um, you know, on the way to sort of insulating. Uh, not 100% sure how the, um, you know, how things are gonna progress, but you know, I'm getting there. I've got a little bit of the kitchen tidy. And uh, do you keep tomatoes? Most people keep fruit in a bowl. I seem to keep tomatoes um, in a bowl. And uh, I've managed to ripen this tomato here, just out of interest, this tomato here was green two days ago. So I just surrounded it by ripe tomatoes that apparently emit ethylene and uh, have ripened that tomato. Anyway, I digress. Yeah, so this is an awful bit of the um, kitchen, this corner, and this kitchen was nine degrees uh, on cold mornings uh, last winter. So I've got to try and, um, these aren't direct holes straight to the loft. Um, there is a board or there is actually lime mortar above that, um, but it is still very, very drafty. So my plan is to, um, uh, well, seal up these drafts. And uh, yeah, this is just the a, a tip of the iceberg on this side of the house. I'll show you, uh, I'll show you in the bedroom what I've got lined up. Um, yeah, this, um, this here, I'm really not looking forward to doing this one. This is a total mess. And it does look like it's been bodged in the past. And I've just basically, I did this last, I don't know, last year, year before, a couple of years ago, just put some screws in just to hold that board up because uh, yeah, it was all falling down. So this is, yeah, this is above the chimney uh, or above the fireplace, I should say. And yeah, this isn't good. Uh, probably gonna have to talk a lot more about this. I'm probably gonna spend the rest of my life talking about fireplaces and wood stoves. Um, so yeah, it's on my agenda to do what I did in the bedroom and living room and chisel that out and bury a wooden strip into the front face of the chimney to keep that draft free. And then I need to put a strip in between all of these, um, all of these beams and I'm gonna to have to do something with holes. There used to be an old uh, gas boiler on the wall there and that used to have a flue going out through the ceiling. Uh, there's a couple of boards above that. This ceiling, there is eight inches of rock wall above this ceiling, but um, yeah, I don't think it's enough if I'm honest. Um, yeah, so there's uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces to go along there. And then that is 10 foot long across there so yeah loads to do it won't all get done today i'll do a little bit and um yeah see how we go
is a lovely evening. It is about 10 to 9, I think. What a day. I'm shattered, absolutely broken. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say. Let's make a video. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say. Yeah, basically, I'll show you what I've been up to. Um, I've just uh, pulled a pear off of the pear tree and uh, I thought I'd wander down and um, uh, say hello to Dave. I've just been, you know, having a word with the hornets that were fighting over the pears as I was trying to grab one. Um, so yeah, I'll um, give Dave a pear and then I'll quickly show you what I've been up to. I've just eaten my dinner, but I need a cup of coffee. I am definitely wilting. Uh, yeah, today was a tough old day. It's a lovely evening. Um, it's quite warm. I think it's uh, still about 25 degrees. Got up to about 27 today, which is what, 80, 80 degrees Fahrenheit? Um, yeah, it's been absolutely lovely. I've been stuck indoors all day. Um, yeah, it's warmer tonight than it was last night. I've noticed the evening's getting a little bit chillier uh, on occasion, and um, where is he? I was about to say, it's a super quiet night to get a bird flap its wings in your ears. Um, where is he? Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I found myself uh, adjusting my hot water. Do you do this? Um, last winter, I worked out that, um, well, I was taking note really, that um, I heated my hot water overnight um, for an hour and 45 minutes, hour and 50 minutes in the winter. And as it, as it got warmer, obviously the water came into the house slightly warmer as, the, as it got warmer through the year. And now I only heat it for an hour and five minutes. And uh, yeah, very uh, frugal. Um, and uh, so I was adjusting my uh, adjusting my hot water timer. Got a terrible setup, but works perfectly, and it's worked perfectly for about two years um, to uh, to heat my hot water. Hello, fella. How you doing? Found a gap in the fence tonight. How's it going? How's it going? Should go up to the shelter. Come on. This way. This way. Come on. See, look, he's not a French horse. And he will jog. He will jog, I reckon. Let's see if he's uh, ahead of the game. I don't think horses jog, do they? <laughs> <laughs> Evening. <laughs> How's it going? Say hello to everyone. Are you well? Looking nice and shiny. Are you well? Say hello. <laughs> I don't, don't think horses jog today. <laughs> he didn't even trot, did he? He, he does sometimes. He runs up and goes, oh, I've got to get a pair, I've got to get a pair. Um, so yeah, do you adjust your hot water? Or is it just me being tight? That, yeah, you don't need to heat your hot water for the same amount of time in the summer as you do in the winter. Anyway. Let's give him a pair and then I'll quickly show you what I've been up to in the house. Fresh off the tree, that one fella. Could probably probably do sitting on the side for a, a week, but anyway. Right, it's getting late, I need a coffee. Quickly show you what I've been up to. remembered I've got to walk to the garden. Do you ever get those times all you want to do is sit down and do absolutely nothing and then realise you've still got this to do, still got that to do. Right, so it's a bit darker now I've moved that light. So yeah, did these two bits. You saw me doing these, or you saw me doing that one. And uh, I got that bit done in the corner. I'm not great with um I'm not great with uh, lime mortar, lime render. I've really not got the patience. Although that bit there did come out now it's starting to dry. It has, um, it has come out quite good actually. But um, yeah, I did. Uh, God, I felt like it, I felt like I was doing it for hours and hours and hours. It's probably because um, probably because I was doing it for hours and hours and hours. Um, and I had to uh, go and dig up some potatoes for my uh, for my dinner, uh, which is always nice to do. It's like having a takeaway in the garden. 
Um, although when your, back, when your back's aching, you don't really feel like digging. So, right, <clears throat> I've got all the bits of wood in and I started the lime mortar. Some of these, some of this wall is not good at all. That one there, that bit there. Um, yeah, I gave that a couple of taps of a hammer to get that bit of wood in and uh, everything fell down. And it actually uncovered a couple of decent stones, so that does look a bit weird. But so yeah, I got to about there, and then I run out of mortar, and I've still got that to finish off. Um, and no, the corner's finished. That's just a shadow you can see. But yeah, there's a gap there. I've got to fill. Got to decide how I'm going to finish that off, whether I just paint it or not. So yeah, I ran out of mortar, so uh, I've got this corner to do, uh, which does look a bit of a mess. It, it takes me ages to get this done. This mortar lock. Uh, be nice to um, be nice to get get good at. It. Oh, it's one of those evenings. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to get good at it, but I don't think I've got enough of it to get good at it. So yeah, the plan was to do that strip up there, but. Um, well, one, I've run out of screws. Uh, two, I've only got six feet left, and that's 10 feet long. And three, yeah, I ran out of energy. I was gonna do it first, but I got these little little bits out of the, out of the way, which I'm really pleased I did. Um, yeah, I really wanna get this room sorted. I had it in my mind, I'm like, right, gonna insulate the walls, insulate the ceiling, get all the drafts sorted out, and then really sort something out with the fireplace, and um, yeah, just go for it. That's what I was thinking. And uh, well, I've just got to stick with it, haven't I? So, uh, yeah, I'm absolutely shattered. So, uh, I could do with a day off tomorrow, but I've actually got a paid job to do tomorrow um, in the morning, and I haven't done a paid job for nearly three weeks. So, yeah, not good, really. I need to be finding myself some work. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm not quite going to start eating grass, I think. Um, anyway, hope all is well. See you later.